Welcome to Guns, Guns, Gary, and Guns with Gary Gunderson. I am Gary Gunderson. Today I thought I would go over the gun battle in the first episode of the new Halo TV series. While some of the firearms are made up futuristic UNSC and Covenant alien weapons, the opening battle scene mixes in a lot of real world firearms. The big opening scene takes place on an insurrectionist planet and they mostly have 7.62x39 AKs. Here you see a rack full of them before they get distributed. You can clearly see a Magpul mag, a Palm mag, what looks like a 545 maybe, and a slightly out of focus Pro mag. Keep in mind, this is supposed to be in 2542 or at least to that century. So these are either really, really old or all these companies are still going strong hundreds of years from now with zero changes to their designs. Yay for innovation. To be clear, that would be like seeing a matchlock rifle in the Russian-Ukraine conflict, which, to be fair, might not be too far off if it continues how it's going. Anyways, back to the show. You have a few more AKs. Their leader has an underbarrel grenade launcher on his, even though he immediately hops on a turret, and that extra ordnance may have been useful at the start of the upcoming battle, but rank has its privileges. And then this random dude with a pump-action shotgun that we never see again. Good luck, buddy. Is that a 5.56 AK? You get the point, there's all sorts of configurations, optics, extended safety, and when all else fails, wrap what looks to be a brand new Spike Industries AK Tracks handguard and cloth. Anything to make sure we know this is a ragtag group. And there's some sort of bullpup behind it, which I don't recognize. I point all this out because I think it's just kind of funny. You know, it's hundreds of years in the future, and in the story already, this group has talked about how they have been fighting the UNSC for years, but they don't field a single captured UNSC weapon besides a couple miniguns. Sure, you can have a Zukov stock and an AK, but not a UNSC assault rifle. You'd think they'd have some captured UNSC small arms around, but I guess not. They don't even get a Warthog. They get the minigun, but only if it's mounted on a regular truck. Enough tease, let's go through some of the actual battle. And if you can't tell by them crouching behind nothing, staggering back and forth so you can't shoot anywhere but straight ahead, it does not go well for them. I'm going to get kind of critical in a very nerdy way here, but this fight is clearly dictated by the plot. They want to make the Covenant, the aliens if you weren't aware of what that was, look unstoppable here, which does not fit the logic of the fight a few minutes from now. They should be at least killing a few of these elites at the beginning. They are under enough direct sustained fire by this group that their shield should have depleted and they would die. They could have used some line to say that, that oh, the UNSC is using special projectiles to deplete their shields or something like that. And that's why all this 7.62x39 is not doing anything. However, the miniguns on the trucks are also shooting these guys. But when Master Chief uses one of these same miniguns without a gaggle of AKs as support, he kills them almost instantly. Just instant death. I mean, even a steel pipe kills one here, so if you're taking this at face value, they should have been at least somewhat effective. Anyways, the humans are basically slaughtered, and the battle scene is pretty well done from a story or action perspective. That's about as well as I drive a warthog myself. But I am fairly certain almost all of these muzzle flashes are just CGI after effects. It looks a little comical at some points. Anyways, another bullpup I don't recognize. A guy making good use of the bipod on his RPD there. And this guy doing the old spray and pray with an MP5. And what's this? A reciprocating bolt? My heart is a fletcher. They actually put one in, but only one. This dude has an M79, which may have actually fired a blank there because that looked pretty good. There's a better look at the Commander's AK with a very obvious CGI muzzle flash. Maybe try using that grenade launcher. It could help. But my favorite in this scene, which I saw posted online, the AK bolt clearly not reciprocating, but they've even added in some CG casings. I'm not even sure where they are supposed to be coming from. You either have a real blank firing AK or at least an airsoft one with a reciprocating bolt on the set. Try using that for the close-ups. How many millions of dollars do you have invested in this? It just looks terrible. You're gonna do superhero landing. Wait for it. <laughs> Woo! Superhero landing. So the Spartans show up and you see Master Chief with a standard assault rifle throughout the fight, which looks pretty good. Though I think they CGI'd him throwing it aside because either they didn't want to damage the prop or it just did not look cinematic in real time. He also headshots an elite on the ground with a magnum pistol. 
And on Master Chief's Spartan squad, one is a sniper and carries a pistol as a backup, though just hides when she pulls it out and waits to get rescued. Another one has a commando, and the third dual wields magnum pistols, even using a charged plasma pistol shot at one point, but then just throws it away. Come on, dual wield with it. For the Covenant, you see one plasma pistol, some swords, and then just plasma rifles all over. And that is it for the combat in the first episode. You see a bunch of bow rifles later on and some other weapons at the end, but no actual combat. And since this rebel group was wiped out, I kind of doubt anything other than UNSC and Covenant weapons will be appearing in the rest of the series. I just thought I'd take some time and go through this first episode in case anyone was curious. It's a bit of a departure for my channel, but if people like it, maybe I'll do it with future shows or movies. Let me know what you think about that in the comments. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you liked this, I'm sure you can find something else interesting here, and don't forget to like the video as well. Thanks for watching.